hi guys so i was recently asked asked by um a member of our tribe for herbs that induce sleep and she specifically asked me for something that is very very strong and typically when people ask me for this um strong sleep inducing herbs i always tell them that it's not every herb that i stock or even want to prescribe and one of them is datura stramonium okay now datura first and foremost is a toxic plant it is not only toxic it is also psychotropic and it is a hallucinogenic plant okay so in many years ago in the past it used to be used like hundreds of Oh, and, and thousands of years ago it used to be used in um, um, cultures for maybe um, occultic ceremonies or religious ceremonies where people want to induce um, uh, visions or to see things <laughs> so that is exactly what this plant um, one of its side effects is which is why i don't even want to go near it i don't stock this datura at all um because of this and not just because it can make you hallucinate also because it's toxic because if you eat 125 seeds your heart will just stop working and that's instant death all right so as toxic as it is as a plant it actually is very very useful in fact if it is used properly or used under proper supervision it can do a lot for the body particularly because of its content of um, atropine um, alkaloids it is rich in atropine alkaloids um, a popular one that you may know is atropine and atropine is used medically um, in medicine modern medicine today and this is what makes um, this datura a very interesting uh, plant because it has such a high uh, content of these alkaloids just a tiny amount of it can elicit a lot of um, effects so there are other uses for um, this datura i'm going to mention some it's used can be used to alleviate symptoms of um, um, asthma so all you need to do is just Burn, get some leaves burn inhale the uh, smoke it relieves asthma well temporarily that's one two it's also good for pain okay so it also relieves pain headache um, rheumatism all types of pain okay it's also a good mosquito repellent and um, it's also useful for um, calming and um, calming the nervous system useful particularly for insomnia so this is one of the plants that is used to induce deep sleep yes so if you've tried a lot of other things if you try this one you are likely going to um, respond to it yeah but it's most interesting use is the one that um, I feel is the most interesting use is it's used to detoxify the body from of uh, pesticide residues um, particularly the ones that are put in food to preserve food um, and organophosphates um, um, and chemicals okay so the reason is uh, because of its content of atropine remember I said so even in medicine medical practice when you come in with um, organophosphate poisoning what they give you is atropine okay and atropine this plant is rich in atropine so there are times when um, a hospital could be overwhelmed with um, patients that have this because they, they can quickly deplete their atropine um, stock so the herb can be used as a temporary substitute for that yes because we find all these pesticides everywhere in our food in our soil everywhere and they can tend to find their way into our bodies 
so it's important to get them out of the body and this plant is very useful for doing that would i prescribe it well i've never prescribed datura before i don't even stock datura but would i prescribe it possibly under um, 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 certain um, conditions yes i could but i will never um, uh, prescribe datura without proper supervision in fact i'm going to have to be calling the patient every day to find out how the patient is doing and i myself will measure out the dosage each dose the person is going to take because i'm not going to trust you to measure it yourself because it's a very very um dangerous herb if it is not used the proper way yes so that's that right you see the picture i put the picture in the um in a box in this video so you could see it and i'm pretty sure most of you have, have actually seen datura before it's just that you don't know what it is because it's a very common weed it's all over the place but it is toxic however also very useful 